Do you know that more than 70 million people worldwide stutter? You know, that's one in every 100 just in the United States, and that means 3 million people in the United States. I'm the Trigger Rich Bond Trigger, and I stutter. I have lived with a lifelong stutter, yet I've enjoyed a career as a broadcaster, as a pastor, and as a keynote speaker in spite of my stutter. Now, I've had to learn a lot of tips and tricks along the way, and... There's a lot of other people that you admire and you know on TV and movies and singers, songwriters, artists that also stutter. For example, Bruce Willis from Die Hard, all those great movies, all those action films. He is so cool. And he grew up with a horrible stutter and still has that stutter. This is what Bruce Willis says about what he had to experience growing up. He said, I could hardly talk. He said, it took me three minutes to complete a sentence growing up. It was crushing for anyone who wanted to talk with him. He heard things. He could not say them back. It was frightening. Yes, he said. He said, I became another character to play things out so I could overcome my stutter. That's a great tip. And it's very common for a lot of stutters that we learn that for some reason we get nervous, we get anxious, we, we just can't be ourselves. So instead, our creativity is we take on a role of someone else and we can stutter. It's nothing wrong with role playing to help you learn how to get comfortable to speak. Bruce Willis was the comedy kid of his school. He used humor as a way to overcome his stutter. He found humor was a cure to relax have fun, get them laughing, and the words came easier for him. As a keynote speaker myself, I still stumble and fumble on stage. I have learned that if I laugh, make a little joke about my stutter, everyone in the room relaxes with me. They feel okay because I'm not bothered by it. I'm not worried about it. And they don't get worried about it because stutterers know if we respond, if we get flush in the face, Everyone else feels just as awkward and uncomfortable in that moment. So humor can be a great tool to help you to overcome. Now, Bruce Willis also did get some coaching. He did seek out professional help. I never did in my case. I just learned and was stubborn. However, many of us do need help. So I encourage you, if you have a stutter, go find a therapist. Go find someone that will help you and encourage you to learn the tips and the tricks to get around this. And the third thing is, just like Bruce Willis, he found what he was good at. He was good at acting. He was good at taking on those roles and being something else. Find what you are good at and fully pursue it and go after it. For me, I loved sports. I loved broadcasting growing up. I heard great broadcasters all my life and always wanted to be that guy. Now, I learned I could not do hard news. I tried to be the hard journalist. I tried to sit behind the anchor desk didn't work. Instead, ad-libbing, sharing my passion and my energy helped me to be a better broadcaster despite my tongue. So, humor, coaching, learn what you love and go for it. Those are just a couple of the tips and tricks along the way. And one more as we wrap up today, learn those key words, those phrases, those letters that tie up your tongue. We all have them as stutters. There's nothing wrong to admit it. The T's or R's or S's, whatever it is, are harder for us. Learn other words to get around that have the same meaning so you don't get tongue-tied as much. This is National Stutter Awareness Week. I want you to reach out to this organization down below and reach out to them if you know somebody that stutters that you love and you want to help out. Or if you stutter and you want more help, these people are working all year round help you to overcome.